What's going on guys? It's Chia time. So in this video, I'm going to be telling y'all how to fix the not sinking error in several different ways. So stay tuned. All right guys. So these two Dell laptops were not sinking. They're both sinking now. They're a little bit slower than I like them to be, but they are fully sinking. Um, so let's go ahead and start talking about the first error that we got. So the first sinking error we got was a very simple one. You can go to here. I'll show you where the file is. Go into this PC, users, your name, Chia, mainnet, log, and click on debug. So, in here, you're going to see the errors error with syncing class runtime error, and it could be a number of different things. And you're probably wondering, well, why am I getting this error? What's going on? This error finally went away for me with this fix. So, also on this one, we have a line, well, where's the error? So we had uh, start client failed, server not in set. So let's go ahead and exit that. And that error was actually due to our time not being correct. Who would have guessed? So what we did is we were showing seven o'clock. You just come and you change your time. So right now we're set automatically. Come here, I'm on Eastern time. So I went ahead and changed my time zone to Eastern time. Once you change it, make sure you hit full, full uh, sync and then you hit sync now, that's sync your clock. Then you're gonna go ahead and restart the software or do what I did, just a restart of the system and that should fix the issue the second issue that we come in contact with is the wrong version so version 1.1.1 1.1.2 .1 and 1.1.3 have very bad syncing errors for most people one way around that is to download 1.1.4 or 1.1.5 depending on what error you're getting so that's one way to, to fix this error as well next is deleting the entire folder. So go to user and delete the Chia folder. Just take it, delete it, reinstall, and you should be good to go. That's the next error. The next error I cannot show you because I don't want to show any of my settings, but you can go inside your router router settings, depending on what kind of router you have. And you can open port 8444. And depending on your location, it could be different. But uh, some ISPs actually block this, and some ISPs just don't allow it. So you have to use a VPN. Or if you're using VPN, you got to make sure 8444 is open port. So that's one way. Another thing that you can do is you can actually come down to connections, and you can actually add this connection right here introducer if you're eastern it's going to be va and if you're western united states it's going to be or so we're va.chia.net and there's one for asia south asia north asia um europe and then you're going to change your port to 8444 Hit connect the peer, and then it's going to go ahead and send you to that peer to download the files faster. <clears throat> what else could it be? So you've you've changed the port. You've made sure your router port is open. You made sure your ISP isn't blocking it. And the way that we figured out our issue really fast was this desktop's working, the MSI laptop's working, but these two Dells would not work. And the only thing that we noticed that was different was they were both an hour off of the correct time. So we went ahead and changed the time and what do you know, they both started syncing as soon as we did that. They are syncing kind of slow, but it's the first time that they've actually ever synced and it's working. <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely happy to see that they're syncing and one of them has actually fully synced. So that's great news. Oh, and if you're asking, guys, I will leave a link in the description below. This hard drive caddy is awesome. It only costs 35 bucks, so you can copy your files. You can add two. So I have a eight terabyte and a one terabyte. The one terabyte was already plotted 
while I was waiting on my eight terabytes to come in. But that's how I run hard drives on the laptops. So software versions could be bad. You could have a corrupt file. You could have firewall, so you need to disable some firewall settings. And that's going to be dependent on what kind of firewall you have on your computer. I know McAfee software will give some errors sometimes, so just be aware of that. And what else could it be? I'm trying to think. There were several things that we went over trying to correct it just to make sure that that wasn't the problem. There's there's a couple different ways you can add peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, if you go to their GitHub or one of the Facebook groups, you can find all of the different links. There's, you know, like the one I just put in there, the introducer, that's one. And then there's a bunch of different ones. Uh, port three for some people on routers is the one that they need to be connected to for some reason. That could be the issue. It could be as simple as being on ethernet over Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi over ethernet. I've got, I've got my desktop supported by an old laptop, taking the Wi-Fi from the laptop, transferring it to Ethernet to the desktop. So that's that's another way that you can fix that issue. But those are some ways that you can fix the not syncing issue with the Chia Network guys. I'll leave some links in the description below so y'all can go and check out some different uh, resources. And also guys, as always, hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And if you have any questions or content videos that you want me to create just let me know i'm still kind of new to this chia network i've been mining ethereum for months now so i feel pretty comfortable on that and yes i do mine ethereum while i mine chia on all my rigs so that is a big plus for my farm is i can dual mine so thanks for watching have a great day